Well, that's the last time we'll see the Belmont Bruins in the Dome as a member of the Atlantic Sun. And a lot of students out. President Nolan in attendance. And uh, good to see a big crowd on hand. However, the Bucks unable to please the crowd early in the first half. Just could not seem to get the feel around the rim. Sheldon Cooley hitting one of four. Yes, uh, four field goals in the entire first half. Cooley trying for another one. He'll miss this one. DeBose, though, will grab the rebound. Marcus DeBose putting it back up and in with the put back. And then Adam Salazzo will go strong on the right side and get that one to fall. But once again, that is three of the four field goals the Bucks made all first half. Mick Hedgepath uh, went on to a phenomenal day, 17-7 and seven for him as he drew the foul there, and that was kind of the story of the first half. During the half, special moment, Dave Walker honored as he was inducted into the Tennessee Athletic Hall of Fame. Bucks trying to get the job done in the second half. Marcus DeBose coming to life early on in the final 20 minutes, hitting a couple of threes in front of the Bucks bench, and it looks as if ETSU trying to get a run going. DeBose again. Will it be another one? Sure it will in front of the bench. DeBose caught fire, finished with 18 points on those three made threes, plus a little bit more. Sheldon Cooley also always seems to play well against the Bruins. He would finish with 18 points on 5 of 12 shooting. Tommy Hubbard did not score in the first half. He would knock down a few big threes in the second half, though, as he gave the Bucks a little bit of life. Isaiah Brown reaches up, slams that one home. Brown would only finish with six points, though. DeBose on the fast break, nail it off the glass. ETSU trying to get the transition going. And then Hubbard again, top of the key. Got it. Tommy would finish with nine and nine. Three three-pointers accounting for all of his points and then nine rebounds for him, four steals for Hubbard. Sheldon Cooley through the lane, no good, but Adam Salazzo trying to come to life as well, finishes that one, and he'll go up strong with a good take. No basket, but he will go to the free throw line and hit them both. Salazzo would finish with 16 points, eight free throws for Adam Salazzo in the waning minutes. Cooley will bank that one off the glass, and DeBose will finish on the break as they go to 18 points apiece. Jarvis Jones hit three free throws as he was fouled taking a three. That would get the Bucks to within 10, but that's about as close as they would get as Belmont pulls away to a 12-point victory, 82-70 to to close the book on an ASUN chapter that's been mostly all Bruins. Inside the Dome, John Stevens.